welcome to this edition of Chelmsford High School's Lions Pride. Let's meet our deans and our students of the month. I'd like to turn it back to Dean John McIsaac from Whittier House to introduce the second student of the month for the month of June. Thank you, Principal Murray. Our second student of the month is Ruby Boucher. Ruby's currently enrolled in physics, modern world literature, calculus, anatomy and physiology, techni techniques and principles in athletic training, sociology, and American history through film. Ruby is a member of the National Honor Society and the Spanish National Honor Society here at the high school. Outside of the classroom, she is a very active student athlete here. She's been a varsity ice hockey player for four years. Uh, she's been on the lacrosse teams and the track programs here at the high school. She's also been in the Lyme uh, Leadership in Motion Everywhere group uh, for a few years and tries to serve her school as much as she can. Outside of school, uh, excuse me, she is the ice hockey, ice hockey captain this year, I forgot to mention, uh, for her outstanding leadership ability um, and her ability to also play at a very high level. Outside of school, she is involved with club, club ice hockey and she also helps coach Chumpsford youth and youth from other towns to try to improve their skating. Um, as well as coaching and playing ice hockey, she spent some time at Country Creamery uh, working and soft serve is what I'm hearing is a big hit. Uh, so I have to get over there and try some soft serve. Uh, next year, she plans on attending Framingham State University and majoring in biology and possibly shifting that to public health after her first year. Uh, and she also can, plans to continue her ice hockey career while being a Ram. Ruby, welcome. Thank you for having me. Anytime. Uh, let's talk about ice hockey. So you've been a part of the program now for four years, um, starting you know, as a young ninth grader and progressing up to team captain. What has that been like, especially while competing with the student athletes from Borica, our rival town, but your teammates for ice hockey? Yeah, um, it's been very interesting. It's, um, as a freshman, it was great to see how well um, two teams, um, t that two schools can come together and play hockey and execute wins like we made it to the final four last year it was super cool um, but I've had some great role models like coming in freshman year being a shy freshman to be able to like kind of get me out of my shell and um, become captain my senior year so and like I said before you've also continued that legacy and tradition by being a good leader a senior leader for the program so thank you for that uh, for classes at the high school what have been like the class that have been most impactful that have kind of shaped your thinking and kind of leading you to like the biology public health field in college um, I think definitely anatomy this year has probably been one of my favorite classes that I've taken at CHS I thought it was super cool to like learn all like the functions of the body and like why we move how we move and like what happens and what goes on and obviously we get to dissect cats so that was super cool to see all the muscles of the body and see how similar it is actually for a cat to be like a human um, and also athletic training um, kind of has helped me see that I think being a physical therapist would be super cool um, to be able to help people but also like learn about injuries and what you can do to fix them. Awesome, both things I'm very passionate about. Um, country Creamery, give me the scoop, like what do I have to order? No pun intended. Like, what <laughs> Nice. <laughs> what, 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 what am I doing when I walk in there first time? What am I getting? You know what? I think that a good first time order is an affogato, which is like ice cream with coffee inside. They make them very good. And okay. that's definitely what I have to get. Okay. Like, how long have you been working there? Um, I've been working there for this will be like my second year working there. Okay. So, nice. Yeah. Through the summer? Is it a shutdown? Um, yeah, they do like through like the spring and then nice. through most of the fall. Awesome. Let me shut down in the winter. I'm looking forward to go. A lot of good things. Staff member, who's a, one of a favorite staff member of yours? Um, I have to say, Mr. Duso. He is. Me and my friends always go there for Pride Block. We love hanging out with him, listening to the stories that he tells us, and yeah. Good. I had his class freshman year, and I really enjoyed that as well. Love it. Well, our time is up. So on Thank behalf you. of the Rotary Club, who sponsors the program, and the Chelsea High Administration, congratulations on being one of Whittier House's Students of the Month Thank of the month so of June. Much. Thank you. Congrats. Thanks. And that concludes our program today. I want to say congratulations to all the June Students of the Month. And I also want to say congratulations to the whole class of 2024. Best of luck next week with your graduation. And we look forward to seeing all of you back in September. We start looking at the next batch of our Students of the Month. So until then, be safe and be well. Bye. And now I'd like to introduce Dean John McIsaac from Whittier House, introduce his students of the month. Thanks, Mitzvah Murray. 
Our first in the month for June is Mikey Mowanicki, or Michael Mowanicki, which I've never heard him call that. Uh, Mikey is currently enrolled in Anatomy and Physiology Honors, Com Law and Trial Procedures, which is mock trial here, Precalculus, Woodworking and Design, World Literature, and AP Psychology. Mikey is a member of the National Honor Society for his excellent work in the classroom. Outside of the classroom, he's a member of the Freshman Mentor Program, uh, class representatives, and the Dean Council, which is a group of students that represents the student body with important decisions um, and initiatives for the school. He's also a stellar athlete at the high school. He's been a four-year uh, basketball player at the high school with three letters at the varsity team. He's been a two-year member of the varsity football team, and he's participated in the outdoor track and field program. On the basketball court, he's been recognized as an MVC All-Star, Most Improved Player, 2022 Lowell Sun All-Scholar -Sch Second Team, uh, Scholar Athlete Basketball Award winner, two years, and then also the Coaches Award winner for the track program. Congrats on all those awards, Mikey. Thank you. Um, outside of the high school and outside of those sports, he's very involved in the community with Lion League basketball, coaching uh, the youth in, in, this, in the town, uh, also doing a lot of volunteer work for the town of Chumsford. Uh, I mean, he also works locally at Kimball Farms, which I actually just saw him there last weekend. Yeah. <laughs> Working hard. Um, and then after life here at Chumsford High School, he will be attending Boston College, uh, studying biology, and hopefully he plans to uh, go into the dental school world uh, after that. Um, and also do a little golfing while he's uh, at Chestnut Hill. Welcome, Mikey. Congrats on all those accomplishments. I appreciate it. Thank you. Over your four years here, you've been very involved in lots of things, um, sports, clubs, activities. What has been the thing that you've been the most proud of um, with all those clubs and activities and sports? Um, I think definitely getting to know all my peers, uh, people that I wouldn't normally converse with, just uh, getting involved with uh, clubs, especially like class representatives. I was able to meet different people rather than just uh, uh, interacting with people that I met on the court or the field. It was just really great to interact with everybody from Chelsea High School. It's a great community. It's good to hear. Um, basketball, obviously a huge part of your life. Yeah. Uh, you've probably played since you were a, a little guy. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, came full circle, came here, were, was a wonderful player for us. Like, what was your experience at the high school? You know, coming up through the program, you had a new coach this year, like a lot of, a lot of new, but a lot of uh, growth and stuff too. Uh, it was definitely a great experience. I definitely think that uh, high school basketball uh, shaped me as a person. You know, you learn a lot about uh, the sport, but you also learn how to persevere in a way and how to become a better person at the end of it. You make family out of your teammates, your coaches, and you pretty much just learn how to make that next step in your life. Nice. Football. Yeah. Kind of late to the game. It's odd. I mean, I was the freshman football coach <laughs> when you were a freshman, like for that one After COVID that. year, wild times. <laughs> Um, and you kind of jumped in your junior year. Did you play youth football before high school or middle school football? No. So what, why, why? I think it's awesome, but why did you decide I, in your junior senior year to get involved? I had always wanted to play football. That was one of the first sports that I wanted to play, but I was never able to play because of how dangerous it was. But uh, with all the coaches asking me to play, I was definitely, I definitely wanted to play, and it was something that I wanted to take on, and I loved it. The experience was awesome. The competitiveness, the ways it just teaches you to keep going no matter what happens to you. It's a great lesson to learn, and I think everyone should definitely take it on. And you survived. I did. <laughs> I did. Which is super excited about. Yeah. Um, scored a touchdown this year, I think, right? I did one. <laughs> That's awesome. It was Good an awesome you. experience. Shifting to your next level of life, biology, dental school, what has yeah. kind of led us in that direction and has prepared us to enter that field? Um, I think definitely uh, watching my sister go through all those procedures with uh, uh, dental medicine, I definitely knew that was the path I wanted to go down and become an oral surgeon. So I think that's definitely oh. what probably shaped me to want to go down that path. If I ever need oral surgery someday, I would be happy if you were my surgeon. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully I don't have to have that, Mikey. <laughs> you can trust me. <laughs> well, with that being said, uh, on behalf of the Rotary Club, which sponsored the program, congratulations on being uh, one of Whittier's students of the month. The CHS administration and I are so happy for you. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate and it. Best of luck the next two weeks. Thank yeah. you. Congrats, Mikey. Thank you. Thank you. And I'd like to turn it over to Dean Erin McNeil from Emerson House to introduce her June Students of the Month. Our first student of the month for June is Alice Gu. Alice, so glad to have you here. You've had a great four years here at Chelmsford High School um, with the high level classes you're taking. You've taken, what, three APs right now? 
and you've been involved in clubs and sports. If you look back in your four years, what extracurricular activity has been the most impactful for your time? Um, is that like sports yeah, or activities? Or clubs, clubs, whatever. Or... Um, for a club, I definitely think class rep. It's like definitely a lot of leadership stuff. And I think it's like nice to meet new people. Like if I were giving advice to a freshman right now, I would say like definitely just join class reps because you get involved in like pep rally, you get involved in like a lot of other class activities. And yeah, but if it was sports wise, I would say f like feel hockey because feel hockey like shows like, it's just like nice being on a team and it's like another family that you have and it gives you more leadership skills, so, yeah. And uh, so you've definitely made your imprint here in our school. Where are you gonna make your imprint next year and what are your plans? Um, I plan to just get like involved at UMass Amherst, that's where I'm you. going, yeah. Um, I plan to like join clubs like intramural sports yeah. or just like giving back to like the community in general. What are you majoring in, do you know yet? Biology. Nice. What do you see yourself doing with that? I definitely want to go down like the medical field, but I just, I'm not sure like what yet, so I feel like wow. I have to take some classes and just. Good for you, time to explore. Yeah. Why biology? Where did that come from for you? Um, actually like this class in the high school called AV Bio, um, biology, Dr. Tanini is like such a great teacher and like her class is like perfectly challenged where like it helped me persevere a lot. So it was like a lot of like self-teaching. So like it helped me like realized how like interesting biology was to me so that's what helped me major in biology. <laughs> Is there a, so <clears throat> thinking about what you're doing next year in, in the major are you uh, they just they just after after school what would you you'd be doing after school what, what kind of activities you do best buddies here your class rep what do you think you'd be doing there you do a lot of leadership roles. Yeah um, I, don't, I feel like they have a lot at UMass Amherst so mm -hmm. Maybe like community service Good. things. And I, I also kind of want to study abroad, so I might look into that, yeah, yeah for like a semester, so. So we're coming up to your kind of last real summer, right? Because once mm -hmm. you hit college, it's, you'll have summers off, but it's, it's not the same. Yeah. Do you yeah. have anything exciting planned? Yeah, um, definitely gonna work a lot to save up money for college. <laughs> and I'm going on vacation, and I just want to spend like the last summer with my friends, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good for you. The, uh, w is there any adult in your life in the last four years, could have been in school or outside of school, that you said really made an impact, uh, an impression on you? Um, yeah, Miss Shepherd. Um, I was so lucky to have her for two years for Algebra 2 and this year for Calculus. Um, she's always been so understanding and helpful in my life. And I ask her so many questions, yeah. and she always like answers like in the perfect way. And I like how like she teaches her class and like the way that she does like she doesn't just give us the formula like hmm. she like helps us learn like why the formula is there that's important. so that's yeah, great, yeah she always makes me laugh so so alice i know you've done all these really high power classes but what class has been besides biology the most um rewarding or we feel like you learned the most and you can say career x because we got to spend a lot of time together there. No, I definitely think Career X. I, like, you guys are like my second family. So. I love talking to you guys and like just like little tasks like I can do for you guys just is like so, so nice. So that yeah. was a good one. And believe it or not, your senior year is winding down. I what, know. What are you looking forward to the most in the next few weeks? Um, prom. Prom. Yeah. prom yeah. Like that senior week. Yeah, I'm so excited. And uh, you know, uh, prom's a blast in the, in the senior banquet. Where's the prom this year? Castleton. Really very nice. Really Isn't that in New Hampshire? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh that's right. fantastic. Yeah. It's gonna be great. So be a, I know. So we'll much pray fun. for good weather. I know. Oh my God. Hopefully. Exactly. Yeah, like the last weekend. Yeah. So with that, I want to say our time is up. So congratulations Thank on behalf you. of the Rotary Club and uh, CHS administration. We're really proud of the work you're doing. And thanks for being one of uh, Emerson House's June students of the month. We wish you the best so. of luck and have fun during your senior week. Good job, Nate. I'd like, I'd like to turn it back to Dean McNeil to introduce her second student of the month from Emerson. Our second student of the month for June is Maggie Huffman. Maggie, thank you for being thank here. You. Um, your four years have been so impactful here. You know, the teachers can't say enough great things about you. You're taking very high level rigorous courses. You're involved in athletics, clubs. Um, you've kind of done it all. Can you just think about these past four years and what 
one moment really stands out to you that made such an impact on your time? I would say the experience that I've been a part of is just in general being on sports teams. Um, there's not really one that stands out, but I feel like it's just helped me grow so much as a person. Like it's definitely getting me involved with so many people that like you probably wouldn't expect to be connected with and also teaches great life lessons like being on a team, friendship, leadership and everything like that. So I just think if there's one thing that I would make sure I redid my experience was definitely being a part of a team. And you were it's field hockey, lacrosse, what else? Is it or yeah, just, just those two? Yeah. Yeah. You were a, a freshman mentor, yeah. weren't you? So look at the freshman mentor program. It takes a lot of, it's a lot of work and a lot of preparation. What is it about the mentor program that, that really uh, excited that you wanted to be part of? I remember my experience as a freshman, especially during COVID, so it was a very like difficult time and I wanted to give back because I remember my mentor helped me so much, like just adjusting to the new life here at CHS. So I definitely wanted to be a part of it and carry on that tradition and help others. So and I also got to be part of like the leadership team where I like ran the plus block, which was nice because then I could also have leadership with students, but also have an experience with leading my peers too. So it was a great leadership experience for me. I did it, good for you. And you've used those leadership skills during your time with the internship, right? Can you talk about your, that experience? Yeah, so I'm at McCarthy Middle School doing seventh grade with my old seventh grade teacher. She's an English teacher. And it's been a really rewarding experience. <laughs> um, it's a lot of fun because I'm just like another set of hands in the classroom. So I'm doing a lot of things that I've never done before, obviously, in that setting. So whether it's just busy work like grading assignments, organizing our classroom, but it also, um, I am going in as free teaching for college. So it's given me a lot of good hands-on experience that I can bring into college. And I've created a lot of connections with the kids and the real life experience. Cause I mean, going like knowing that I want to be a teacher was a lot different than actually doing it. So it's definitely helped and just solidifying like what I really want for my future. So it's been so a you lot of experience the internship, yeah. and yet you still are considering <laughs> yeah. going into education. So you must have a true passion for yeah. it. You, the, uh, you're also part of our Best Buddies program, which is a wonderful program. Can you explain to our audience what Best Buddies is and uh, what did you do for it and what did you like about it? Yeah, I did Best Buddies, and it's a program where a group of kids at the school will help the special needs program, like the paid program and everything like that. Um, and we just do a lot of like bonding activities where like I remember I went to like a movie day where it was like Christmas time, we all watched a movie. It was just getting them involved and then making them feel included and everything. So that's been a lot of fun, like being a part of that and how like impactful that can be for the kids. I'm glad you were, that's yeah. great. If you could recommend one class to take for say an incoming freshman, what class would you recommend to them? Um, my favorite class is probably anatomy. Even though I'm not really doing anything like within my future, it's I feel like it's a class that really prepared me for my future um, because it is like a high level class. It's helped a lot um, and Miss Highland is very good like at teaching it so I feel like I learned a lot of like good time management and like multitasking skills where you had to do a lot of like responsibility for that too like self-studying but then also being involved in the classroom so I think that class has helped a lot with getting ready for those high level classes in the future. Well, believe it or not, our time is up. So I want to say congratulations on Thank behalf you. of the Rotary Club and Central High Administration on being one of Emerson House's Students of the Month for the month of June. Thank you. Best of luck to the rest of your senior week and best of luck next year. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> now I'd like to introduce Dean Christina Mitzer from Hawthorne House to introduce her Students of the Month for June. Thank you, Principal Murray. Um, so for June, we have um, a student of the month named Megan Arpino. Megan, congratulations again. Thank you. Um, Megan has been involved in so many things here at CHS over her four years, academics, clubs and activities, and along with um, you know really sharpening her leadership skills throughout the time here. Um, she has taken some um, challenging courses um, that does not exclude her senior year. Um, she's been in AP Literature, ASL, Reality Check, AP Psychology, Forensics, Calculus, Organic Chemistry, Criminal Justice, Sociology, and Techniques and Principles in Athletic Training. 
Um, do you want to tell us a little bit about that, the techniques and principles in athletic training and yeah. what that was like? Yeah, that was a really, really interesting class, actually. It was never really something I kind of pictured myself taking. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm planning to do, so I kind of just wanted to take a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. um, and I actually found it really interesting. I learned a lot about like bones, muscles, injuries, so it was really fun. Great. Yeah. Um, I know that you were also involved in National Honor Society, the Spanish National Honor Society, and the Science um, National Honor Society. Um, Megan's, one of Megan's teachers, Mr. Machucci, um, said that one of my favorite parts of being a freshman teacher is seeing the growth of students as their four years go on. Megan was a great student in my class as a freshman. She was hardworking and focused throughout the very difficult freshman year. Seeing her in the past four years come out of her shell and turn from the good, quiet student into the true, remar remarkable, funny, and caring individual she has become has been one of the highlights of my first four years at this school. So it must feel like yesterday, but also so long ago. Yeah, right? You were does. a freshman. Yeah. Um, looking back, you know, at that time, when you think about it, um, what do you think is some you know, is is a way that you've grown over that the course of that time over those yeah. four years? Um, I think I've definitely become way more confident mm -hmm. in class and out of class. Just like meeting new people, participating in class, being able to work in a group. Um, I've definitely just gotten a lot more confident with that. Great. Yeah. Um, I know you've also been involved in, with the Give Club here. Mm -hmm. um, what is the Give Club and what have you been doing with that? So it's a volunteer club and um, I've had a lot of fun with it. It gives you like a lot of volunteer opportunities, gets like connections with a lot of different people. Um, and it just kind of shows like the difference that volunteer work makes. Mm -hmm. um, and I always really liked, we do like Teacher of the Month. And I had a few times where I could decorate teachers' doors, which was always really fun. Because I know that they really appreciated it. Yeah, so that's great. Yeah. Good. And you've also been on the dance team? Yeah. Um, do you, does that team compete? No, we do recital in the spring, though, and we do pep okay. rally in the fall. Okay, great. Um, uh, so this coming fall, you are planning to attend Stonehill College. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank That's you. That's great. Uh, have you decided on a major or where are you? what, what path you might want to take afterwards? Yeah, um, I'm going undecided right now, and I'm planning to minor in dance, so I definitely want to continue my mm -hmm. dance journey. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I just kind of want to explore like as many classes as I can before I kind of commit to anything, um, just kind of like see what I like see what I don't like, kind of. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you see yourself opening up a, your own dance studio in the future? or, or um, I'm not sure, dress? maybe. I think definitely something with dance. I want to be able to keep that in my life. So, thank yeah, thank you. And then looking back on these last four years at CHS, um, if you were to give a, a um, incoming freshman one piece of advice as they enter, you know, into the building on that very first day, what would you tell them? Um, I would just say, like, be kind to everybody. Um, just like make as many friends as you can, reach out to people, and just not be nervous to try new things or meet new people because I remember how nervous I was, but it ended up all working out. I met like my best friends and I just got involved as much as I could and I think that that just makes like your high school experience so much more fun. Great. You did so much here in, the, in, in these four years. Mm -hmm. What are you looking forward to most when you go to college? Um, I think just seeing like the difference getting involved in college versus in high school and just being able to take all of the skills I've learned here and bring it into my life in college and yeah. That's great. That's great. Well our time is up so on behalf of the Rotary Club and the Chelsea High Administration congratulations on being one of Hawthorne's uh, June Students of the Month. Really Thank proud you. of you and good luck the next couple weeks. Thank you. Good. Thank you. And now I'd like to turn this over to Dean Christina Mitza from Hawthorne House to introduce her June Students of the Month. Thank you, Principal Murray. So our June Student of the Month is Sam Matson. Welcome, Sam, and congratulations again. Thank you. Um, Sam is being recognized for his dedication, hard work, and just exceptional qualities at CHS. Um, all of his teachers just said what a joy he is and what a pleasure he is to have in class. Um, and no one had a single bad thing to say about you, Sam. Um, I know you worked really hard, and um, I also was impressed by the courses that you took, because it seems like some of them you took them just out of kind of intellectual curiosity, like wondering what they were like. Yeah. It wasn't, um, your schedule doesn't look like everyone else's. It looked like some of your classes were a little bit different, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, so this year, Sam um, took Physics CP, Modern World Literature CP, Calculus 1 CP, Guitar 1 CP, Communications and Media 1 CP, American History Through Film CP, and Technology, Troubleshoot, and Repair CP. Um, his teachers, um, you know, as I mentioned already, have spoken very highly of him. Um, Mr. Atchison is a teacher who 
uh, Sam mentioned has, has made an impact on him. Did you want to mention um, what you got out of Mr. Atchison's class and why you found that, that to be such a great one? Yeah, so uh, Mr. Atchison, he was my plus block teacher all uh, four years. He was great, uh, super friendly, super nice. Whenever we like needed something, like mm -hmm. or if we had like a problem, we could always go and talk to him. He was always there to listen and help us. Um, and I remember freshman year, like it was really hard. Uh, half of people were remote, half were coming in, so mm. it was tough. But he always tried to make sure we were talking to each other. Like he helped us build so many different like friendships and connections, and it was awesome. That's great. Um, well, he had some really great things to say about you. Um, he said, Sam is a wonderful human being. In the classroom, he is compassionate and caring. He supports his friends when they are down and celebrates their highs. You will never hear him say anything negative about anyone. He works hard and is a conscientious and confident student. When Sam graduates, he will sorely be missed by all who knew him at CHS. Um, so Sam is also involved in um, athletics here at CHS. He played baseball freshman year and then sophomore, junior, senior year, spring track, junior year, senior year, winter track. Yes. Um, and then was made captain of both track teams as a senior, which is really great. Um, as a leader. Um, outside of school, I know you've um, participated in some fundraisers, and then you also work at the Country Creamery and Coffee House. Um, what do you like about working there, Sam? Um, so it's a lot of people in like our grade who work there, so like we all know each other, it's mm -hmm. nice. Um, and it's just like a lot of fun. You're serving yeah. ice cream, like it's nothing yeah. too hard, and like it's just... You're making people happy, right? Yeah, Giving them exactly. some ice cream, nice. Yeah. Um, I know that you had mentioned before that in the fall you plan to attend either Suffolk University or Emmanuel College. Had yes. you made your decision yet? I have. I'll be going to Suffolk University. Oh, congratulations. Yes. That's Thank great. You. And what are you studying there? So I'm going in undecided business, but I think I want to do marketing with a uh, graphic design minor. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm excited well, about that. That's great. Um, I know you mentioned something about how you want to go somewhere where you can demonstrate your creativity. Yes, so of course. I'm sure you will be allowed to do that um, wherever you go. So. Um, yeah, so, and then um, looking back now, can you believe that you're actually a senior already and graduating? It must have gone by so fast, right? Yeah, it, um, truly it did. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Weird freshman year, that went by really quickly, and then I was like, oh, it's sophomore year, and then junior and senior year. And then suddenly you were here. Yeah. Um, yep, so, great. What is, oh, before we, before we break, what is one class or memory or event that you did it at? participated in Chelsea High School that sticks with you and said that was great? Ooh, that's tough. Uh, it's definitely a lot of things. Um, I remember the pep, uh, pep rally from last year. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of fun. I unfortunately missed the one this year, but yeah. uh, it was nice to have like a normal one like the previous right. classes had because first we had the online one and that's then the one right. outside. But the one indoor, right. it was really nice to experience that. So. Wow, that was great. Yeah. Well, so, so congratulations on being one of Hawthorne Students of the Thank Month. You, yes. We're proud of you, and Suffolk is a great, is a great school. And I want to say congratulations on behalf of the Rotary Club and CHS administration. We wish you the best of luck in the last couple of weeks. Thank you. Thank you. This concludes our latest edition of Lions Pride. I want to thank our deans for their thoughtful words and beautiful summaries of each recipient. I'd also like to thank the Chelmsford Rotary Club for their unending support of this great program. Congratulations to all of this month's Students of the Month. On behalf of the Chelsea Rotary and the Deans, thank you for tuning in, and we look forward to seeing you next time.